Hey, what's up you guys? It's Dorothy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go into chapter 97 of Swimsuit by James Patterson and Maxine P. So let's get right into this video. This video may contain sensitive topics and foul language. If you do not wish to continue, I suggest you click off the video now. You have been warned. By Sunday afternoon, I was back in my bunker, back to my book. I had a month's supply of junk food in the cupboard and was bent on finishing the expanded chapter outline for Zagami, who was expecting it in his email box by morning. At 7 p.m., I turned on the tube. 60 Minutes had just started, and the Barbados murders were headlining the show. Morley Safer was speaking. Forensic experts say that when combined with the five Maui murders, the deaths of Wendy Emerson and Sarah Russo are a part of the pattern of brutal, sadistic killings with no end in sight. Right now, detectives around the world are re-examining unsolved murder cases, looking for anything that can be can lead to a serial murder who has left no known witnesses, no living victims, not a trace of himself behind. CBS correspondent Bob Simon talked with some of those detectives. Film clips came across the screen. I watched retired cops interviewed in their homes and was struck by the somber expressions and quavering voices. One cop in particular had tears in his eyes as he displayed photos of a murdered 12-year-old whose killer had never been found. I turned off the set and screamed into my hands. Henry was living inside my brain. In the past, the present, and the future, I knew his methods, his victims, and now I was adapting my writing to the cadence of his voice. Sometimes, and this really scared me, sometimes I thought that I was him. Uncap I uncapped a beer and drank it. It down in front of the open fridge. Then I wandered back to my laptop. I went online and checked my email, something I hadn't done since leaving with Mandy for the weekend. I opened a dozen emails before I came to one with the subject heading, uh, heading is everybody happy. The email had an attachment. My fingers froze on the keys. I didn't recognize the sender's e address, but I blinked at the in heading for a long time before I opened the message. Ben, I'm still working like a madman. Are you? The note was signed HB. I touched the strip of bandage stuck to my left side and felt the small device that was beaming my location to Henry's computer. Then I downloaded the attachment. That is the end of this chapter. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.